Hello, kids. Welcome to the Fearless Floyd Show. I am your host, of course, Fearless Floyd. And tonight we're going to discuss how to lawfully change your name in the Texas courts with a step-by-step -step process with instructions, the petition, and the decree, and why it's so important that you do this. This is not legal advice. This is for educational purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a medical doctor. I don't give any type of advice except for educational purposes because this is my hobby to play with this YouTube channel, BitChute channel, and kind of give you guys an education of what's really going on. So tonight I did a Zoom meeting one-on-one -on -one and... Uh, I'm going to post it in this video so you get to play along and participate. Thanks for joining me. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with as many people as you can, turn them on to what's going on, and uh, let's grow this thing. Thank you. Y'all have a good night. All right, kids, here we go. And All right, basically these are instructions for the name change, petition, and decree. This is solely for the state of Texas. Um, it's not, uh, not for other states, although I'm sure some states are similar. You go to like Florida, for instance. Man, Florida wants to know where you lived last year, five years ago, 10 years ago. They want to know where you work. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, so basically, uh, the instruments that I'm going to show you, which will be the petition and the decree, uh, these are not static instruments. They're dynamic. You can change them at will. And you have free will to change them anyway to suffice, you know, what you want to do with them and what your goals are. Uh, this is just a template for you to follow, nothing more than that. Uh, but this is an opportunity to have a judge and a clerk sign off on whatever you enter into the record. So don't let this template confine your imagination and diligence to achieve what your goals are. Now, the red denote a living appellation, the blue denote the dead appellation, the green is for you to amend to your circumstances circumstance. Example, petitioner included legible copies of his or her original complete set of fingerprints on a fingerprint card for the Texas Department of Public Safety and the Federal Bureau of Investigation for the 28th day of April 2020 forwarded said entities with money order for fees. Now this is just one bullet point in the petition and the decree so you would actually change out this date to the date that you actually did that. It is decreed that petitioner's name is changed from, boom, the all capital or the straw man to however you want it. If you mm -hmm. want to put the hyphen in there to connect your first and assumed middle name and then put the colon in there with your last name and a copyright symbol or yep. a trademark symbol or a registered mark, you're more than welcome to do anything that you please with that particular uh Appalachian. And uh, I hope these help you on your journey. Um, these are copyrighted instruments. As you can see, here's my copyright notice. Oops. Yep. Down here at the bottom. So, don't sell them. You can do them for other people. I'm not tripping on that. Instructions out of the way. One thing I hate about Zoom, you have to like go back and do everything. And this is the petition. And I've okay. used a, basically a pseudonym, James Donald Smith. And this is the format. And a man of age or a woman of age, 
practitioner, pro per, because you're coming in proper, mm -hmm. uh, pro se, district court of whatever judicial, you're going to leave this blank, you're going to leave this blank for right now. They'll assign that to you once you file this okay. in, and I'm going to show you how to file that into the court as well. And just put whatever county that you're in. Mm -hmm. Original petition for a change of name by decree and not an order. You wanted to leave it as a decree. Yep. Comes now your name, petitioner, proceeding pro per, and the above styled and numbered action in which herewith has submitted his or her original petition for change of name by decree and to support said petition. Petitioner states the following. Actually, um, I should say, Uh, states the following jurisdiction, proper jurisdictional court to grant all things and endorse decree in this matter. So I'm looking for an endorsement. Okay. Discovery in this case is intended to be conducted under level two of rule 190 of the Texas Rules of Civil Procedure. Age of petitioner, petitioner is over the age of majority at 18 years of age. As of, you put your birth date in here. Yep. Statement of action, petitioner herewith petitions this court to grant all things and endorse decree in this matter for a full and complete name change for status change due to errors in local, city, county, comma, state, federal, and international records to honor mother, father, and creator. And you can put whatever you want here. You can put God, your bed, headboard, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. That's your choice. Um, this is this statement right there. Yep. Basically, to correct the records. Yep. Honor mother, father, and creator. That's all they want to hear. Okay. That's just real. That that's the answer. And uh, I, I've been through two of these personally, and that was it. As soon as, as, soon as you get creator out of your mouth, granted. Nice. Yeah, that quick. Uh, standard of review, pursuant to Texas Family Code, Section 45.102. The following information is supplied about petitioner. True full name at birth. That's a misspelling. James Donald Smith, sex, race. Uh, you're born in the United States of America. Yep. You're, in, you're indigenous. Yep. You can be an American national. You can put um, Indian, war, you know, whatever you want to put there. Mm -hmm. This is your chance to set the record straight of who you are. You're going to get a judge to sign off on it. And uh, then when you order your exemplified copies, you can get a judge to sign off on it again, as well as a representative for the uh, district clerk. Okay. So the date of birthing is, uh, of course, your hospital on on the land, on the soil, whatever yep. county, Texas state, not the state of, not the county of, those are corporations. Uh, place of birthing and location, St. Joseph's Hospital, 601 Calhoun Street, Houston, Texas. So I'd have to go back and find where the hospital is that I was born in? Yes. Get okay. the address. Shouldn't be hard. Uh, don't put the zip code. Zip it should be on our birth code. certificate, right? Yeah. Uh, the hospital will be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if the address will or not. Uh, date of registrar, birth recording. Mine was uh, a week later. Okay. Registrar's file number. Date of birthing registration was two days later yep. on the land and soil of Texas State. Mm -hmm. My birth file number 
142 represents Texas. This would be the year that you were born, and that's mm -hmm. the actual number of uh, the filing. Okay. Texas driver's license number. Yep. Um, you don't have to put that in there. Um, after all my research, mm -hmm. I would put this in the petition. Mm -hmm. I would omit it from the decree. Okay. All these numbers, I would omit them from the decree. Okay. And the reason being is because those three right there, they're connected. If you watch my video on the gmeiutility.org. Okay. They're connected. And this is how they connect you. They'll either use, you know, this number with your birth date and hook you up. And then this one, because that's your contract with the state right there. Okay. Driver's license or ID. Okay. And they're always trying to connect these two together to find that guy. Okay. That guy. Okay. Because that's who these two are, right? Mm -hmm. That's a straw yep. man. That's a straw man. Yep. That's who that is. But that's not who you are because this is who you are. Right. So, all right. Uh, and you can continue to, you know, put any number you want down here. Uh, you know, you can continue on this list, whatever you want. Uh, petitioner is a woman or a man. Petitioner mm -hmm. has no middle name or has a maiden name of whatever your maiden name is. Mm -hmm. so for the feminine gender, your middle name is your maiden name. Okay. So whatever you were born with, that's going to be your middle name. Uh, if your name is uh, Marilyn Monroe Doe, Doe would be your maiden name, and you got married to DiMaggio, your uh, first name would be Marilyn Monroe, Doe would be your middle name, DiMaggio would be your surname, your last name. Okay, so in my case, I would put um, my first and middle was Deborah Ann, and then my maiden name is Bertrand, and then my last name is Duzinski. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, petitioner is not a Mr., Mrs., Miss, Sir, Ma'am, or has any other title attached to his or her name. Because uh, according to the Constitution, we cannot have titles. Okay. Um, we are the kings and queens of our own kingdom. Right. So we don't need titles. Um, petitioner is not a citizen of the United States or U.S. as defined in Title 28, United States Code, Section 3215A, which the United States is defined as a federal corporation. Right. Petitioner is an indigenous American national. Petitioner is a civilian, consumer, and active and in good standing. And of course, you can see, you know, these are straight from the Minnesota Secretary of State's assume name certificates. Mm -hmm. You want to be a consumer because you want to be protected under the Consumer Protection Act, Consumer Protection Laws. And we'll get into that, you know, later on down the road. Okay. Once, once y'all become acclimated with uh, everything. And of course, you're a civilian. Yep. Petitioner is the beneficiary of your proper form name. Petitioner's appellation of, in any vari variation, derivative, abbreviation, with or without suffix, suffix attached thereto, is copyrighted, trademarked, and the trade name property of record owner. Right. right here, I didn't do this in mind. This is all some new stuff that I've added to this. And as I, you know, learn and do more processes and figure out, oh, hey, I, you know, I need more protection, or I could have done this, could have done that. You know, here it is. You got a judge signing off that it's copyright, trademark, trade name. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can even put, you know, record owner. Um,
down. So it doesn't matter how this name is spelled, written out, whether it's all capitals, all lowercase, it, any variation, derivative, abbreviation. Okay. It belongs to you. And you're making the record of it. Petitioner's change of name is in the interest or to the benefit of petitioner and is in the interest of the public. Uh, interest of the public. Petitioner's name. There you go. Uh, petitioner has been convicted of the following classes of misdemeanors. None. And however many you've been convicted of, um, you know, I couldn't remember all mine. I don't have any, thank you, Lord. Yeah, then put, <laughs> you, then you actually you can, you know, strike number 11, you can strike 12 if you've never been convicted of a felony. No. Nope. Uh, petitioner is not subject to the registration requirements of Chapter 62 of the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure as a sex offender. Petitioner nope. requests the court to grant and decree change your petitioner's name to... Whatever name you want, petitioner included legible copies of his or her original complete set of his, his, uh, her fingerprints on a fingerprint card for Texas Department of Public Safety, the Federal Bureau of Investigation of the whatever date you sent it, forwarded to said entities with money order or fees, and I think it's some oddball number, like twenty three dollars something like that okay uh prayer for relief wherefore premises consider petitioner praise this court grant relief and endorse decree that petitioner's name be changed from the all capital straw man to the proper grammar in all things he she so prays respectfully submitted and if you want under here byline All right. You still see that? Barely. <laughs> well, I know you can't read it. All right. So we're going to blow it up for you so you can read it. This is called micro printing. This is what they do on the line where you sign your name with checks. There it says authorized representative, authorized representative, authorized representative. Attorney in fact, authorized representative and record owner signed without prejudice, Texas Business Commerce Code, section 1-308. Actually, that should be a point. All rights reserved. Attorney in fact, authorized representative and record owner signed without prejudice, Texas Business Commerce Code. 1.38. All rights reserved. Cool. So that's what that says. Now I can I can go on there when you send that. I can go on there and alter it to what I need in there and sure. then keep everything else that's in there. Yep. Cool. Yeah, you can put you know your address and all that if you want on here, and then uh, and get it notarized by Notary Public. Now, do we sign that in blue ink or black ink or what? Um, I would sign it in red, and then do the red thumbprint. 
Okay. In your name. All right. Because I know they told us to sign things with our thumbprint over the last two and uh, copyright C on it. Yeah. Technically, you'd want to sign it like that. Mm hmm. You just like print it out in blue. Yep. Uh, because that's the, that's the petitioner, your yep. old name. And okay. that's what you want to get it changed to. But, you know, right. we know that there's two entities we're playing around with here. So I printed mine in all capitals. Okay. Yep. And I did believe I did it in blue. Okay. And basically notarized declaration. Claire and penalty of personality, all statements here with attachments here too are true, correct, complete, and authentic originals and or duplicates of originals made without the United States pursuant to Title 28 U.S.C. Section 1746-1 and all rules of court. Certificate of service, petitioner herewith certifies that services have been properly conducted to the Texas rules of court by depositing said document in the online filing system of the Office of the Clerk for the District Clerk of Harris County, Texas, of proper jurisdiction. And that's where you sign it with red with the thumb. Uh, well, you know, here you're still the petitioner. Okay. Still in that status. Of course, here's our things copyrighted. All right. So, uh, I did make some changes. So, let's see. Um, Stop share. So I should go to the sheriff's department and get the thumbprints, right? Uh, yeah. There's there's companies that'll do it for you for you mm -hmm. know a small fee. But yeah, you can go to your like police station, sheriff's office, wherever. Um, this is the decree. I made some changes and stuff on here. So anyway, they're going to sign the number for it. And they're going to sign the court. Um, I've had both of mine have been in the 311th of Harris mm -hmm. County. The decree for original petition of change of name, whom all these presents on, and they're going to leave this blank because it'll, when they when the judge signs it down here, it'll be all dated. Okay. Um, so just leave this blank. Uh, the court heard petitioner's original petition for change of name by decree of the straw man petitioner pro per petitioner appeared before the court and now it's ready. The court finds that as jurisdiction of the case and of the straw man. The making of a record of testimony was duly recorded by the court reporter and clerks. Finding facts and conclusions of law. The court finds that the petitioner has first-hand knowledge of the facts. And basically, this is just a reiteration of what you have in your petition, almost word for mm -hmm. word. Yep. Those. I'll highlight those because I would leave these out. Because, okay. and, and the reason that you want to leave these out is because when you get the exemplified copy of this decree, yep. you're going to be sending copies of this exemplified copy to specific entities to inform them, this is who I am. Okay. So uh, this, this person right here that y'all been stealing the identity of, you know, y'all can't do that anymore. So you don't want to give them, you don't want to give them the link to anything. If so I what do I do? Just, just so I just take this don't out. Don't fill Hilton? Yeah. Yeah. Just take this out. Delete it. Okay. I could delete it. You know, some people are, are going to want to keep it. Some won't. Okay. I'll, I'll put it in here. You know, on the other one, remember I have et cetera, et cetera, where you can just keep adding stuff. Okay. So, you know, whatever you want to put in there, it's, it's all up to you. Okay. Um, course, as long as they know that the, I'm just going to change change my name from 
my straw man to my regular man. Right. That's good. This is the most important instrument of the three that I'm, I'm going through because this is the one that's going out to, you know, when you get your master file, this is going out. Uh, when you do your amended social security card, this is what's going out. Okay. Uh, um, you know, when you do the credit agencies, this is what's going to go out. Okay. And so do I, do I, do I add, keep my last name as Duzinski or do I have to just call, go back to Bertrand? Will they no, change it no, just no, as no, it no, is? No, you've, you're, you're already registered in their books. Okay. Duzinski because, uh, you know, you went down to the county clerk's office and asked permission to conjoin your corporation with somebody else's corporation. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's why you got a license. You got a license to conduct business. Oh, God. Everything <laughs> has a license for everything, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. But it'll see. still do the same thing when I do that, except it'll change my maiden name to the to the right one, right? To the middle name, yeah. And then okay. you'll have two first names. Okay. But I'm just trying to make sure I do it right. So I'm not yeah. having to do it over again. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. If you just follow this template, you're going to be yep. okay, okay, especially if you're in Texas. Uh, yeah. This is way more than what they require. Okay. I mean, you know. Extreme, extremely more than what they require. Okay. Uh, but it's your chance to, you know, get this information into the record, into the public sphere. Uh, you know, of course, you're going to have to do a, uh, a public notice as well in the newspaper. Okay. To notify everybody that, you know, you, you've changed your name. That way there's no if and buts about it. Okay. Uh, change name, interest, of course, the green, take that out. Um, and here's the decree, the names changed from to clerk of the court deputy successors and or assigned shall issue to petitioner three certified copies of decree for original petition of change of name. And they never follow this, even though I've jammed them up multiple times. You have to order them and pay for them, which is no big deal. They're cheap. Okay. Um, you know, three exemplified copies. The decree that the clerk of this court deputy successor assigned shall submit an exemplified decree granting change of name. To Texas Department of Public Safety and Federal Bureau of Investigations for inclusion of records. Signed and decreed on this date, judge presiding. That's a wrap. Okay. Two pages. And when you get it back, it'll be uh, half a cover page. It'll be the exemplified um, uh, signature sheet. And then the back page will be a uh, the clerk's record. All right. <coughs> So the reason we do that is because it affords us an opportunity to <clears throat> all right. This is efiletexas.gov. Yep. And um, it's one of multiple sites, websites that are used in Texas to electronically file instruments in, or to create a case or into an existing case. So obviously, this is my case. Yep. There's my old name. There's my new name. <laughs> Okay, so when you get when you set this up, you've, you've signed in, set up an account. Uh, you're gonna um, start a case. Yep. It's called in an envelope. Yeah. 
course, this is going to take forever. No. No. I don't know what it is with Zoom, but Zoom just like sucked up. Okay. So I'm going to hit browse. I'm going to go over here to the private process. And I've already scanned these. Notice the service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Filings, filing code. This is a notice. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all see where I'm at? Yep. It's notice. Filing description. This is notice of actually it's in the Oh, one, because I've numbered them. Mm -hmm. Notice of service. Oh yeah, big boys in his bed. Mm -hmm. And mommy taste And big boy. All right, and this is going to take a while because oh, you want to do these big boy. individually. Do I? I'm getting a class from Floyd. Oh. All right. Yeah, I want to go bed in a little bit. Mm -hmm. so oh. 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 Uh. Notice. It is on. Yeah, there's going to be no attachments to this lead document and the reason you want to do this is because if i have like i believe 13 instruments in this package yeah i have some front and back pages some of them are multiple pages per instrument and the reason you want to do them one by one is so each one will have its own file mark on the top page okay so you have to do these um one by one Uh, use the existing payment account waiver. Filer type and only do a pro se. Calculate fees. You still see this, correct? Um, I see all the things you're putting there, yeah. Okay. Now, what did you do by putting waiver? If you, waiver, waiver of filing fees. And how do you get to waiver the filing fees? You can just click on waiver. Okay. There's a notice. And then I'm going to send a copy to myself, make sure that I get it. Okay. This is the document name, notice of service, notice of service, filing description, notice of certificate of service. You see, now, what's on this notice, notice of service? Uh, hey, I'll show it to you in a minute. So I'm going to submit that. Mm -hmm. 
and it's submitted and I could start a new envelope and then hit location and it gives you all the courts yep all the cor cor corporations <laughs> so you just that's right the uh, hair whoops Hayes Harris County So I would find the one that was in my district? Yeah. Okay. This county criminal district. There it is, right there, 311th. File into existing case. Or your name. Oops, no results. Right. Same case. Mm -hmm. Envelope. And just go through the same process over and over and over. So exactly what I filed. Just the service. Now what I had to do, as you see, I have my gold foil embossed seal up here, mm -hmm. coat of arms, my estate family flag. And then this, of course, was printed out. I had to take it to the Internal Revenue Service on October 1st and get this stamped. Okay. And once I did that, I had to print out a copy. I had to scan it, print that copy out, and then run that copy through the copier with this information on it. Okay. Just to file, just to do what I'm doing right now, to file that back into the into the record. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking this package to get my um, my master files access to my trusts. So I'm filing this into the record so I can get certified copies back. Oh, okay. So how do how do I get those things? What do I do with that? Because I have I have not even gotten into any of that stuff. When you were this doing is, all that stuff. Yeah, this is way down the road for you. Okay. <laughs> I, I had got sick when you were doing all this stuff here, and it was yeah. like. Yeah, well, I mean, you can, like, you can order the, your own embosser. Okay. Um, I, I can have a company that I use. Um, you can order them online, like Amazon. It's kind of difficult with Amazon. It's easier just to order with these other companies because you can get on the phone, talk to them, email back and forth. Okay. So uh, you got to make a flag for that first, right? You need to you need to create your own flag. You need to have a coat of arms. All this. And this is what I said. Is there's a lot of minutia to this. You don't have to have a flag. You don't have to have a coat of arms. You don't have to have an embosser. But when you start presenting your instruments with these different icons on here. People take notice because uh, my final product has a grommet right here, and then it yep, has purple, I remember. purple silk ribbon, and then you know another embossed seal right here. So even though that this is a copy, with you know the, the original was embossed, all my copies are embossed. You can't take them apart. So this is part of a package. Even though this is one page, there's actually probably I don't know twenty something pages total in the whole instrument package. Mm -hmm. So, uh, basically, this is this is what I'm filing in there now. Okay. And that's the reason that you want to do the name change because it gives you an opportunity to have a judge sign off on whatever you're trying to get accomplished, whatever your goals are, whatever you kind of status you want to hold, as well as 
it opens a repository for you to file instruments in there to, so you can order certified copies, you can order exemplified copies of whatever you want to put back in there. So like the, uh, the assembly package that we did. Yep. We found it. You know, we, we both know that it holds no weight. Correct? Yep. So, yeah, I got a whole bunch of paper here and it doesn't have anything connected to it right now. Right. So what I want <laughs> to do, you know, um, I'll just pull one out to give you an example of what something looks like. I put all mine into a nice folder and all that stuff, but it does no yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, I have my own paper. paper yep. Black, I like black. that. Yeah. Uh, I, love, yeah. I like the way that looks. Yeah, it's, it's you know, I, I, I do these packages for people as well. Uh, but this is from uh, Derek Gascon. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is put a Jurat behind this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to redo it. Okay. Just so what are you going to charge for your packet, on. the one that you do for people? Do you, did you come package. up with anything on it yet? Which package do you want? I do a trust package, uh, set you up a trust. Uh, I need that. I know I need that. Okay. Um, yeah, we can discuss that off off the what? video. Trust package. You have my number. You can call it me. Ain't on. Mm -hmm. um, trust package. It's the way to on the way to the, get the oh. straw man and stuff. Sir. Yeah. All right, I'm coming right now, bud. Um. But now here's another thing that see this seal. Yep. That's a notary seal. I see that. That you want. Try to find a notary that has the embossed stamp. Okay. Because that's international. Okay. When you get the rubber stamp, that's just mm -hmm. you know the United States. Okay. You want your instruments to hold international? You want to get the embossing. Uh, I've actually applied to become a notary. So what do you got to do to become a notary, though? Uh, you have to pay a filing fee. You get the stamp, you know, you know, an embosser if you want one of those. Uh, you have to get a bond and be approved by the Secretary of State. Okay. So, the common carry declaration, remember those? Yep. Okay. I had the, yep. the emboss seal. And last but not least, it's right here. Yeah, I got a schedule fee. I do okay. have one of those. Right. It's, you know, of course, Derek did this one, uh, but it's not notarized. So once I get it notarized and get the gold foil stamp on it, uh, I'm going to file it into my record that I just okay. just went through. Okay. So I don't have to go to a county clerk and try to fight them to get it filed. Okay. He file it right in there. Boom. It's in the record. It's in the public record. Okay. But how do you waiver it, though? Don't they charge you for that stuff? No. No? No. Uh, I know you put a waiver on yours, but did you get a uh, something that would give you that waiver or what? 
Well, you just click on waiver. Okay. Because it's not, there's no filing fee to file a notice. Okay. So that's no what notices in there. These are all notices. You see okay. right here, notice of. Notice Every of. instrument that I have is titled notice of. That's what okay. that is. Um, notice of certificate of service. Notice of cover letter. Notice of table of contents. Notice of claim of title as correction. See, I'd like to learn all this stuff, but it's just so much stuff. It's like. That's why I'm trying to walk you guys through this, mm -hmm. you know, just one thing at a time. And once you get this one thing, uh, then you, uh, you know, you can move on to the next thing. Okay. And as you move forward and you're looking back at your, the things that you did, you're, you'll start to get it. You'll start to okay. snap and, because you're learning more. Okay. It's, it's, it's not difficult. You'll, you believe me, you'll, you'll start snapping. You have just a, a modicum of intelligence and intellectual curiosity. You'll get it. You'll be okay. Okay. But as I said, when I, I would like to get you to help me with those other things and I'll pay you for those because okay. I'm just not all that in that smart for that kind of stuff. I get, I get it. You know, uh, you know, when I started this, I didn't understand, you know, and I'm still getting mentored by other people. You'll, you're, you're never going to stop learning. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's, you know, people in this other group that I'm in getting, you know, this one lady got $18 million from a company who, uh, you know, uh, fraudulently did a, um, uh, automobile sales contract. Really? Yeah. 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 Everything. And I was talking to somebody right before I got on the Zoom. Uh, pretty much everything that you're currently doing financially, whether it's your mortgage, your any vehicle loans, um, utilities, credit cards, all that, credit reporting agencies. They're all acting in fraud and you can get paid thousand wow. dollars per violation. You, wow. have to, you have to, you have to get the, the instruments. You have to read them. You have to, you know, find the actual, uh, violations and, uh, then do, you know, notify the particular person that you need to, uh, notify the only one that can recognize what you're doing. And they'll settle with you in a matter of days. Are you serious? Yeah. I know my, my mortgage <laughs> is in a real bad place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Well, these ones here actually took and put me on a 30-year <laughs> mortgage on a 15-year rate. Right. And, I'm, I'm, um, I'm getting close, Deborah. I really am. I'm real, real, real close. Okay. My, uh, my printer... reason started printing this pink you see how pink that is yeah yeah so i changed out the the toner cartridge the magenta still printed out pink so i ordered a whole new set and they got here two days ago i went to galveston i was like oh, I, I can't deal with this anymore i got my stuff stolen now my printer's acting up it's like everything's trying to get me to take two more steps. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I've got it to where it's like, it's, you know, oh, it might be it, better. Yeah. Uh, however, um, uh, I'm still waiting on my embosser. So just to give you an idea. That's oh, ready to go out. Wow. And I'm waiting on to do the other package that's going to go with this package. Um, that, that, that's how it looks. That looks good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm waiting on my embosser. Wow. Wow. Special deposit. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's it's tedious. It's a lot of work, a lot of minutia to uh, to get this stuff done. But I, uh, the other package um, is for the uh, white card. Okay. Or the black card. Yep. Um, so as soon as I get the embosser, boom, whiz through that. Um. And then once I get all that mailed off, then I'll start focusing on the uh, this other process with the uh, mortgages, car loans. You know, they they got people going and buying cars. Just they're signing their name a specific way, an endorsement, and walking out with cars. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. I have a car. I just want it so that I I know that it's not going to ever be jerked out from under me and. You know, that's this is going to be my freedom, and yeah, absolutely, freedom and retirement. But you have to have to master it, and you're going to study every day. I would appreciate that if you've yeah. got things for me to 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 read into or whatever. If you could just uh, email you, me, I would love it. Yeah. Do you have the um, petition and decree? No. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll send you that as soon as we get done with this. Okay. And the thing for my cha my change of name, because I am going to file that this week. Okay. And um, I just want to make sure, again, when I put my stuff on there, uh -huh. I'm changing my, my maiden name from the out of the straw man into me. I'm getting me. Well, your original name is your birth name. Yep. Then you got married and you can put all this into your petition and decree that on such such date you got married. You know, I've left it out because, you know, my name never changed. Mm -hmm. My, my ex-wife's name changed, but my yeah. name. Uh, so that's something you, that you would add as a female. I mean, I'm not a female, so I didn't think of that. Uh, that okay. on such such date I was married to, and you can put your husband's you know full mm -hmm. name in proper, right? Proper grammar, right? Uh, uh, and then it's established for the record of who he is. Okay. Got a judge to sign off on it, on the mm -hmm. cool wink wink. See what I mean? Yeah. Now, now, two two now. birds with one stone, maybe. Absolutely. I would you know if you can kind of put something in there for me that with that I would. Totally love okay. it because I would like to um, I would like to drag his name out of the dirt as well. At this point, it'll be it's not official, but it is right. official. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not well, quasi it's recognized. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, here it is. Here's an exemplified copy signed by two yep. judges and a district clerk. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that for you. Uh, anything else that you uh, wanted to go over? Um, no, because okay. too many things at one time will send my right. head into a tailspin. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, I, I need to get those done in order to go to the next step, which is the Social Security. But I okay. need this first. So yep. this is what I'm going to focus on right now. And as I said, if you got things in there to read that will help me get up to speed or learn some of this stuff, just drop it in my email and I could print it out and keep it under here so I could start reading on stuff that will help me with this stuff. Uh... My brain is more of a doer. If, if I do things, that's how I learn things. Right. Um... Trying to think of what I can give you, you know, because you're just doing the name change. And then that's what county are you in? Hector. Hector County? Yep. I don't know how I wouldn't think it would take long in Hector County to get a name no. change. Well, 
well, we've gotten pretty crime ridden in the last uh, so many, a couple of years. So, yeah, they Houston is off the chain in crime. I know, yeah. but Odessa used to be so nice. I mean, it was quiet. Now it's crazy. We have yeah. bank robbers, children being shot in their own vehicles, people yeah. being killed everywhere. It's like really bad. It's bad everywhere. Yep. Yeah, doesn't matter. I don't think. I don't think it matters where you're at. It's yeah, just, it's just you know, not good. Just, yeah, this place is going crazy. Okay, uh, with that, I will um, amend these instruments and I will email them to you. I appreciate. And uh, I'll try to find something I can send you to the study. I'm trying to mm -hmm. think of something to send you. Mm -hmm. Uh, just to get all this stuff into my head, you know, just so that yeah. I start thinking the way I should be thinking. Well, <laughs> forget everything everybody ever taught you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've already tried to do that. I'm yeah, trying to learn that this whole thing is just a sham. But, you yeah. know, when you're living in that sham, it's pretty dang hard because yeah. you're just beating your head against the wall. It, it's a big Ponzi scheme. And the easiest way to adjust, because I'm walking some people through some uh, some traffic violations and some misdemeanor offenses. Mm -hmm. uh, well, my goal is I want to get a nice house out in the country and stuff, but I don't want to have to deal with these idiots, if you know what I'm saying. Right. And Just think of it like this, okay? You're establishing a corporation mm -hmm. and you're the like, CEO and the president and the treasurer and secretary and sergeant at arms this corporation uh-huh and you do everything you sign off as a treasurer you know you protect it yep and that's who they're dealing with they're not dealing with you the person it's yep. all business don't take it personal right right <laughs> so, well, see i do that all here at the house i do everything at the house and keep everything under wraps and make sure everything is not gonna go haywire so that shouldn't be too hard for me, right. but it's just getting the technicalities. Well, yeah, yeah. People get offended, you know. Oh, well, I don't get too offended too easy. I'm not, uh, not easily offended. Yeah, everybody's different, but it's, it's difficult to keep your passion and emotions out of it because right. that's what they're trying to do. Yep. You know, you're trying to keep it over here, but they keep trying to put it back in you. And you're like, no, I don't want it. You know, and it's a game. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, yeah. All right. Well, good. With that, uh, I'll send this to you and get on it. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it, Floyd. Well, I'll see you Tuesday. Right. All right. Yes. I'll be here. Thank you. Okay. Have okay. a good night. Great you weekend. Too. Bye -bye. You too. God bless.